Hi everyone, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look at a uh, fairly new tarot deck. It's been out about six months. Uh, it was released in the end of July 2022 and we are now in early January 2023. So it's been out about six months, maybe a little more. Um, called the Medieval Mischief Tarot by Ricardo Gio Ferraro. And it's a smaller deck published by U.S. Games. And a shout out and a big thank you to U.S. Games for sending this deck out to me to review. It's uh, in a smaller hard case two-part box. So just to give you an idea, the box is small. So it's about the size of the tarot card itself. Hard case box. All right, it does have a thumb hole cut out on each side, as you can see. So let's open it up, just plain black. Inside it does have a guidebook, small little guidebook. And we'll take a look at that after we look at the cards. There is a title card. And these are the backs. And it looks like they are reversible from what I can tell. It's not gilded. Um, cardstock is papery side, but with a little coating. It doesn't feel like 100% papery, and it doesn't feel 100% plasticky, but it feels more papery with a coating. It's nice cardstock medium very flexible and pliable as you can see comparing it to a uh, traditional plaid back tarot let me zoom out a little bit so you can see it's a lot smaller so it's not like a mini like you know those small little minis um, but it is smaller than the traditional plaid back tarot it's almost like playing card size, maybe a little, even a little smaller than playing card size. But that's how small, how much smaller it is. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cards. I'm going to put the, close the box. So this deck is probably not for everyone. It's a little bit different. It's very simple. Uh, but it does follow the right of weight system a little bit loosely, not a hundred percent. Um, and it has, as you can see, more symbols in it, like, um, element symbols. Um, and it does have a number, it looks like. So this, we have the full, but very, very simplistic black and white deck. The Magician. So definitely readable. Here's the um, astrological symbol. So it has astrological symbol as well as elemental symbol symbols. The high priestess. Empress. So I have her shield. Lots of stars. Here's the Venus symbol. Emperor, Aries, Fire, the Hierophant, Taurus, there's the element symbol, the Lovers, we have Gemini, Air, This is pretty interesting. I wonder if that means they're connecting telepathically, connecting through the third eye, third eye connection. It looks kind of different, kind of strange, but that just came to me because it's straight through the third eye and they're connecting through the third eye. The chariot, water element symbol, and cancer. And we have claws here. Justice. 
So I notice in this deck they switch strength and justice. Normally, standard rider weight is card number eight is justice, and card number eleven is uh, I'm sorry, card no card number eight is strength, and card number eleven is justice. In some deck, some system, usually the Marseille system, they switch card number eight and card number eleven. So in this respect, it's more the Marseille system because card number eight is justice and not strength. So we have the air element, Libra, the scale, justice, and we have the sword. And then we have the hermit, Virgo, Earth, I think that's Jupiter, I'm not sure, I'm not a hundred percent sure on the astrological symbol. We have an eye looking there, no lantern though, but this I guess is the sun, this is the light illumination here. Wheel of Fortune, and here we have the strength card number 11. So. And this is Leo, fire, I'm assuming that's fire. All right, the hanged man. Interesting, there's a snake here. Death, Scorpio symbol, water, another snake. The star. Wait, or is this temperance? I think this is temperance. 14 temperance? Yeah, 14 is temperance. Sagittarius, I believe that's fire. And the devil. The tower. And here we have the star, car 17 is the star. Aquarius, lots of stars, air, star. The moon. We have the wolf or the dog catching a fish. Pisces, water, the moon. So lots of symbols in these uh, cards, even though they're very simplistic. We have the sun, judgment, and the world. Then moving on to the minors, starting with the suit of rods or wands. We have ace, number one, two, Three, four, five of wands, six of wands is very different. That's not traditional. Seven, eight, nine. Ten, page, knight, queen, and king. Very interesting. There's three heads. Moving on to the suit of cups, ace of cups. We have the flowing water. We have a heart here water element, two of cups, he's on his knees, looks like he's proposing, sort of, <laughs> not to her, not holding her hands though, three of cups, I don't understand it's three of cup, I have to look it up, because usually there's three people, but there's only one person and then cup, 
Looks like she's drinking the water from the cup. Four of cups, five of cups. So definitely the minors are not right away. Six of cups, seven of cups, eight of cups. This is sort of, so I guess it's a mixture of the Marseille and the right away system. Nine of cups, 10 of cups, page of cups, Knight of Cups. Well, it's night, but it has C. Queen and King. There's King of Cups, but he's writing. Interesting. So next suit is sword with ace of swords or one of sword, two. So they're calling a truce. Interesting. Three, heartbreak, so that's the same. Four. This reminds me more like an eight of swords. Oh, I guess she, it could be four of swords. She's resting. She's not tied or bound or trapped. She's just resting. Five, six, so that's more like right or wait, moving away to a better place. Seven, so is she stealing these swords? Eight, okay, so this is similar to the right or wait. She's blindfolded, can't see, and kind of buying, pinned down. Nine, that looks painful. Prickly. Ten. That's different. Page. Knight. Queen. And king. Next suit is pentacles or coins. We have the eagle with the crown, looks like. Two of coins, juggling, balancing, three of coins. So that's similar, working, right? They're working together. Four of pentacles. That's not traditional. Five. Yeah, he looks like he's going through a financial hardship. His cover is all patched up. Six, so that's similar meaning. Generosity. Seven. Eight. Working. Nine, same. The single lady with the birds, abundance all around her. Ten of pentacles. Page. Knight, Queen, and King. And then they give you this uh, little cheat sheet card. So it has all the elements, water, fire, earth, and air. It has all your astrological symbols for the different planets, the moon, the sun, earth, and then it also have all your uh, astrological symbol I'm sorry it has your elements your planets and your ast astrological symbol Aries Taurus Gemini Cancer etc so very nice little cheat sheet here are the backs one more time so very different and unusual but definitely readable deck it's not so different that you can't read it um, like I said, it's not for everyone, but if you're looking for something a little bit different, you like the simplicity of it, black and white, and you like all the symbology in it, and something more portable to carry around, it may be a good deck you want to consider. Let's take a look at the guidebook really quick. Small little guidebook. Harder, harder cover than the traditional white little white book. The Creation of Medieval Mischief Tarot. And so the author talks a little, okay, so 
he mentioned here Marseille, so he probably combined both right away in Marseille system. I'm not going to read it all. Thanking U.S. Games, and then we have the Major Arcana. So we get, you do get a little uh, black and white picture of the card, and it tells you what element, and it does give you a page. So that's nice. And let's see the miners, how they do the miners. Okay, so the miners, the sun. Apocalypse. Oh, so they call this the judgment card Apocalypse. So here we are into the minor section. Oh, so only like a couple words. So very little for the minor, but you do get a few or keywords and then a section at the back for using the cards medieval mischief spread so they have their own little spreads with eight cards that's nice and then they have the little cheat sheet at the back of the guidebook and then a couple blank pages for notes Oh, one blank page for notes. So total of 58 pages. Not bad. Yeah, so there's a lot of symbology for this deck. So if you're looking to, you know, work with a very, very simple deck with a lot of uh, symbols that uh, you can read. And it, they'll probably make a good clarifier deck, too, because they're a little smaller. So something uh, different to consider for your a collection if you like sim simple uh, black and white deck that has a combination of um, right away and Marseille mixed together. All right, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. If you're interested in the deck, I will put the link underneath the video as usual. Um, if you're looking to purchase it or just reading more about it and finding out more about it. All right, thanks for watching again and I will catch you again on the next video. Bye.